Hello friends. In competitive examinations like bank, SSC, railways, etc. See, they give some simplification questions. Multiplication questions. Bigger numbers you need to multiply for the answer. Which takes more time. As there is very less time is available for these examinations. You have to answer. You cannot multiply in a conventional approach. Which takes a lot of time. So to save time for such kind of examinations. Anyway, these examinations are objective examinations. So options also are given. Without solving the question, we can find out the right answer from the options. So I give a technique for that one. Uh, so for uh, that technique, we will see in the, here. To understand that one, I'll take a simple question first. Okay. See, that is. 16 into 17 is 272. 16 into 17 is 272. Let us see whether it is the right answer or not. I don't say it is the right answer or not. See here a question is given and also the answer. With our approach, without multiplying the numbers and finding the answer because here I have, I'm giving you the answer but in the examination they ask you what is the answer for the question so anyway we have to find out the correct answer from the options this is the best method I can say what we do we have to add up all the digits here a question is given on left side of the equation an answer is given on right side of the uh, right side of the equation and both sides in each number you if it is having more than one digit you add up those digits like that you arrive to a single digit on left hand side question part and even right hand side here answer part okay I will just show you what happens let us come to uh, here question part two digits are there let me add both 1 plus 6 is 7 1 plus 7 is 8 okay then 7 into 8 56 5 plus 6 11 again two digits 1 plus 1 2 right come here 2 plus 7 here three digits 2 plus 7 9 plus 2 11 1 plus 1 2 you observe left hand side we have arrived to a single digit right hand side also we have arrived to a single digit so here both are two only means that is the right answer that means to get the right answer question digits and answer digits must be the same that is the logic with this logic with this approach we can solve bigger multiplication questions in the examination okay the simple thing is question side number of digits answer side number of digits should be same that is the logic okay now i have some questions for you let us solve these questions okay right Let us take the first question. I reread the question. The question is 3476 into 274 is how much? Okay. Forget about this one. Let us not multiply. First, let us arrive to a single digit. Okay. Like this. We have to add up all the digits. Ah, here one logic I'll tell you. So you would add 3 plus 4, 7 plus 7, like this you keep on adding. Instead of adding all the digits, a simple thing is, while adding these digits, whenever you find 9, or the sum of the digits which will give you 9, you strike them off. You remove 9, or sum of the digits which will give you 9. You just simply strike off, you simply ignore them. Okay, here you can observe, 3 and 6 will give you 9. You can simply ignore that one. Okay. Then only you have to add these two. 4 plus 7, 11. And again, 1 plus 1, 2. Here also, my dear friends, the right hand side. 2 and 7 is giving 9. Again, 4. Right? Chalo. Here, 2 into 4 is 8. So, the question part is 8 now. 
So, okay, question part we have arrived to a single digit which is 8. Now, what we have to do? Check up all the options. There are 5 options given here. You find out all the options, you add up all the digits of the numbers which are given in the options and see. Okay, let me add. Option. First one I am trying. Anyway, 9 you can strike off. I just told you, you can strike off 9. Okay, 2 and 7 will give you 9. You can strike off. Okay, 3 and 6 will give you 9. You can strike off. Only 4 is left over. So, first option sum of the digits is 4. Actual our answer sum of the digits is 8. So, this cannot be our answer. Go to the second option. Okay, you check up. Is there any sum of the digits will give you 9? 4 and 5 gives you 9. Okay, 2 and 7 gives you 9. That's it. 8 and 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. So, 1 plus 1, 2. Second option sum of the digits is 2. Come to third option. Straight away you can strike off 9. And you can check up here. 6 and 3 will give you 9. You can strike off. What is left over? 1, 5 plus 2, 7. So, third option is 7. And come to fourth option. Fourth option also strike off 9. And here you can observe 5, 7, 9. Strike off. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 2, 9. Combination of these. I am just striking off. 4 and 5, 4. That's it. 4 and 4. I am sorry. 4 and 4. 8. This is 8. Okay, sum of the is 8 here. Okay, now come here. Actually, our answer is also 8. So far, we got 8. Okay, this may be our answer, but not very sure. Come to last option also. Let us check up even that one. Okay, here let us see. Straight away, 5 and 4 gives you 9. Okay, and 6 and 3 will give you 9. Strike off 2 and 8 is 10. 10 means 1 plus 0, 1. So, right answer is 4. Only fourth option, sum of the is 8. So, that is the right answer. Hope you got it. Okay. The here what we are doing, our thing is whether it is right answer or not, we have to find out like this. The sum of the digits in the question, sum of the digits in the answer should be the same. Okay. That's what we got it. Okay. Let us take a second example and see. This one also I just show you. Right friends. Okay. Let me write the question. 384632 into 69248. Let me add up the digits first. Okay. Let us see. 9 or combination of digits which will give you 9. Here 6 and 3 will give you 9. 3, 7, 2 give you 9. Here 8 into here 9 straight away. Okay. What I do here, you can observe here, my dear friends. Uh, 6 and 2 is 8, not 9. But if you can take 1 from here, 8 plus 1, 9. So, only 3 is left over. 3 plus 8, 11. 1 plus 1, 2. 8 into 2, 16. 1 plus 6, 7. Right? So, what I am doing, if it is not 9, combination of digits, sum of the digits should be 9. Okay. Now, you check up all the options. Which option is 7 here? Okay. First one I am trying. Chalo, let us see. Uh, straight away we can say 2, 7, 9. And next 5, 4 is 9. Next 1, 8 is also 9. Anyway, 9 is there. Strike off. Just to observe. 3, 5, 4 is 9. 3, 5 and 4 gives you 9. What is left over now? 6. So, first option is 6. Okay. Second option. Let us try. That should be 7. Okay. What I am doing? 6 and 3 is 9. Strike off. Uh, any other thing? 7, 2 is 9. 5. Next. Here you can observe 1, 8, 1, which is 9. That is also you can strike off. 5, 4. You can strike off. What is left over, my dear friends? 8 and 6. 8 plus 6, 14. Means 1 plus 4, 5. Second option is 5. Right. No other is left over. Come to third option. Okay. Right. Here you can see 8, 1 gives you 9. 5, 4 gives you 9. 2, 7 gives you 9. Next, uh, 3, 7, 9. 5. 
Next, what is left over? 4 plus 3, 7. Yes, that's fine. But uh, we cannot say that this is our answer. Let me find out other options as well. Okay, fourth option. Now, let us see what uh, is here. 6, 3 is 9. Next, 1 and 8 will give you 9. 6, 3 also give you 9. Next, what is left over? 4 and 5, of course, is 9. So, what is there? 2, 4, 5. That's it. 2, 4 and 1. That is 5. So, fourth option is 5. And come to fifth option. Fifth option, my dear friends, straight away 9 and 9. I'm cancelling. 6 and 3 will give you 9. Again, 6 and 3 will give you 9. 2 and 7 will give you 9. Okay. So, what is left over? 4, 10, 16. Means 1 plus 6, 7. Yes. Fifth option also is 7. Third option is 7. Fifth option is 7. Anyway, other three options we can rule it out. They cannot be our answer. Our answer should be either third option or fifth option. Which one is our answer? It can be any one, but it cannot be both. And now, in such cases, what do you do? See the, we are uh, confused between these two. So, without any confusion, you just see the units place digit of the question. Here, question, units place digit 2 and 8. 2 into 8, 16 means the answer should end with 6. Okay, answer should end with 6. Out of these two options, only fifth option is ending with 6. So, 5 is our answer. Okay, like that we can make good, my dear friends. Clear? Chalo. Let me try the next question also. Okay. This is a 6843589 into 2358. Okay. Let me try this one. Okay. Once again, any numbers, 6 and 3 will give you 9, 4 and 5 will give you 9, okay, then 9 anyway is there, and 8 and 8, you take 1 and add here, that will be 9, and 7 is left over, and here, uh, what is there, okay, anyway, just see here, 5, 10, 18, means 1 plus 8, 9, 7, 9 is a 63, multiply normally, 7, 9 is a 63, now 6 plus 3, 9. So, the question part, we have where I would pay a single digit 9. Chalo, let us try the options also. Okay. Uh, see here. And uh, strike of 9, 5 and 4 will give you 9. Strike of 2 and 7 is 9. You just observe 1, 7 and 9. These 3 will give you 9. Fine. Then what is there? Uh, 3, 7, 2, 9. So, I mean, what is left over? 1. So, first option is 1. And see the second option. Second option, 7 and 2 is 9. Then, uh, what is there? You can see, you can take like this also. 6 and 3, straight away, 9. 4, 1, 4 is 9. You can strike off. 8 and 1, 9. Very good. And what is there? 6 and 2. Nothing but 6 plus 2, 8. So, second option is 8. That should be 9. That also cannot be our answer. Chalo, try the third one. 2 and 7, straight away, 9. Next, uh, 8 and 1, fine. Next, what is there? 3 and 6, 9. Next, what is there? 5 and 4, 9. Next, uh, any other thing? That's it. 7, 4, 11 plus 3, 14. 1 plus 4, 5. So, third option is 5. And try the fourth option also. Fourth option is my dear friends. Uh, any other thing, uh, straight, uh, straight away I can say 6 and 3, 9, 1, 1, 7 gives you 9, that also 1 and 8, 9, next what is there, uh, see just see here, 8 is there, I am taking 1 from here, that becomes 9, 1 is left over, 1 plus 6, 7 plus 2, 9, fourth option is 9, that may be our answer, we have to still check up even the fifth option also, okay, see the fifth option, 6 and 3 will give you 9, Okay, next 7 and 2 will give you 9, 8 and 1 will give you 9. Okay, next uh, what else? Uh, 4, 4, 1 gives you 9. Next, what is there? Uh, 6 and 2, 6 plus 2, 8. Fifth option is 8. So, what is left over? Our answer is fourth option, like this. Okay, right, my dear friends. See, 
how we can uh, get the answer i am not getting the answer for the question actually i am finding out which one is the correct option from the given options see this may be uh, 100% i cannot say that this is the correct uh, uh, method but more than 90% cases you get the right answer with this method see competitive examination means we have to take some risks also uh, definitely we have to take some risks but uh, this is a calculated risk more possibilities to get the right answer almost more, more than 90 percent cases you can get the correct answers only in one or two cases you may not be getting a, a correct one if any uh, confusion i just told you know if any if you are confused among any uh, options then uh, you try with the units place also if not units place you try with the like if not a six and six then uh, if that if that is not not there next next two digits means you multiply 76 with 74 then two digits you can check up units place and tens place also you can check up like this you can save a lot of time without uh, multiplying the actual one this is definitely a useful method for especially bank examinations where you have a very less time uh, hardly half a minute time you will have to solve a question if it is a preliminary examination 100 questions you need to answer in a one hour time that means a half a minute time average exactly speaking 36 seconds time so that very less time is there this method you can hardly uh, in 10 seconds you can uh, come out with uh, your right answer okay hope you enjoyed this method thank you friends